What's up guys, Togu here and welcome back to more Pokemon Omega Ruby. In the last episode, we started off the adventure for real and we got the shiny Beldum event and actually, apparently something does happen when you try to leave town. Orlando, wait! Mom? It is Mom, never mind, we do get stopped by Mom, aw. Orlando, Orlando, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon, you got it from the Professor? How nice! You are your father's child, alright? You look good together with a Pokemon. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now, your father will be overjoyed. But don't push yourself too hard. If anything happens, you can always come home, honey. Bye, Mom. See ya. I wonder if the camera angle is from the opposite side and, like, from over here looking this way. Or if it just still looks from this way, but she just walks to the right if you're playing as... Anna, the female character, and we're getting stopped by yet another person! Just can't start this episode, can I? Orlando! Yeah, I figured that'd be May. This is from my dad, he said he forgot to give it to you before. Come on, either PSS or DexNav. Your Pokenav Plus has been upgraded. Oh, so we just start with the Pokenav Plus. Yes, DexNav! DexNav function has been added to your Pokenav Plus. The app I just added to your Pokenav Plus is called the DexNav. I can tell you it can tell you lots about the Pokemon living in each area and that kind of stuff. It's a handy app to have if you're trying to catch different lots of different Pokemon. All right, guess it's just about guess it's about time I use the DexNav to do some more Pokemon catching myself. Orlando, you should use those Pokeballs I gave you earlier to do a bit of catching too. She probably gave us five, though maybe she did give us more. Let's actually check that out. Uh, no, Pokeballs are right there. Ten, nice, awesome. That's actually a lot better than five. And Dexnav, ha ha ha! See, the Dexnav is so cool because it actually gives you, like, the original graphics. There are still Pokemon in Sierra that you have not caught. That's what happens when I actually tap on it. So, it looks like we need to catch Zigzagoon, Poochiana, and Wurmple. Alright, so, we'll try out a bit of the Dexnav right now, I guess. I'm not going to be using any of these Pokemon on my team. But it'll be cool to try out the Dex Nav, just because I really do want to try and... Wow, really? I bet Water Gun will one-shot this thing. Oh, no. Awesome. Alright, so a Pokeball should catch from here. Actually, on most of these Pokemon, a Pokeball should catch from full health, but I really don't want to waste them just because we don't have that much money. Starting off with early in the game, and I don't feel like trading over a lot of items from my other games, since really that isn't a fun thing to do. Alright, caught Wurmple. <clears throat> now, I think with the Dexnav, now we're able to do the sneaking up on Pokemon thing. Oh, and that's right, you gain experience from catching Pokemon now. So, we'll still get the level up. Awesome. And Wurmple's date was added to the Pokedex. Uh, two encountered. So, that means now when we're searching for Wurmple, we should have a level of two. I believe the level is how many times you've encountered the Pokemon and it goes up to 100. Using the spikes on its rear end, Wurmple peels the bark off trees and feeds the sap feeds on the sap that oozes out. This Pokemon's feet are tipped with suction pads that allow it to cling to grass without slipping. Alright, uh, give it a nickname? No. Uh, so it should fill in on the Dex Nav now, and indeed it does. And if I tap on it, we'll see search level is 2. You can tap to go straight to the Pokedex, or we can just do a search. Oh, I couldn't be found nearby. Alright, let's look over here. Well, there's May. Let's try searching over here. Oh, couldn't be found. Alright, let's just go talk to May. Orlando, over here. Oh, I guess she's gonna teach us about sneaking. See that right there? That's a tail sticking out. There's a Pokemon hiding there. Yeah, I know, I learned this in the demo. And look here, if you check your Dex Nav. Alright, it looks like that Pokemon knows a pretty rare move, too. Well, I wanna check my Dex Nav. Orlando, try getting closer, real nice and slow. Push lightly on the circuit pot, sneak close to Pokemon hiding in the grass. In blue text! That's what it said in a book I read. No, 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 I want to check. You're almost there, slowly, slowly. Remember, you press lightly on the circuit pot, sneak. Okay, thank you. I wanted to search for the Poochiana. What do you mean, try moving more slowly? I'm not moving. Alright, so I guess when you get closer, we have search level 3 on Poochiana. You see, this has the ability to run away, which I believe, I believe that's its normal ability. That would make sense if it is. Just double checking. And yeah, that's its normal ability. Its hidden ability is rattled. But as you see, the first move 
has an exclamation point and it knows Fire Fang. And how does it actually normally get Fire Fang? I believe it is an egg move. Yeah, so you can find Pokemon with like egg moves by doing this. And now we don't have potential, so we can't see its IVs or anything, but let's sneak up on this. Almost there. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna try to catch this, just because obviously uh, having a Fire Fang Puchiana is nice because then you don't need to breed one on. Though I don't know how actually viable it would be to have Fire Fang on a Puchiana, but still, nonetheless, it's something that they give you as kind of an event thing to catch. And I'm sure this would be a lot harder if you picked Trico. I'm just going for Water Gun because it's weaker than Tackle and I don't want to risk uh, KOing it. So yeah, thankfully we resist that. Awesome, so that makes it much easier to catch because I'm pretty sure this Puchiana is guaranteed to have Fire Fang. I don't know if there's, if it's guaranteed to ha I mean, if there's, it's guaranteed to not have its hidden ability. Let's just go for a Pokeball. And this should catch. And it's a good thing I ran into a Wurmple and not a Puchiana, because then I would have had to waste a Pokeball catching this one and end the original one, adding it to the Dex Nav. Alright, got it. Nice. Now, May gives you 10 Pokeballs, so how come you don't get a Premier Ball from that? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, Puchiana's data was added to the Pokedex. I'm not going to read the entry for every t Pokemon we catch. It weighs 30 pounds, jeez. First sight, Puchiana takes a bite at anything that moves. This Pokemon chases after prey until the victim becomes exhausted. However, it may turn tail if the prey strikes back. Um, should we name this thing? Because it is the Fire Fang one. So yeah, well, what would I even nickname it? Uh, no, I'm not going to, just because I'm bad at thinking of nicknames. All right, let's go back and talk to May. That was amazing, Orlando. I've been at this way longer than you, and even I have a hard time sneaking up like that without being noticed. Jeez, do you even know how to use a circle pad? Gosh. Alright, nearly complete if I tap on this. Let's see if we search for Puchiana. Anything? Uh, there's one up there. Okay, so that's what causes the Pokemon to appear is when you search. Uh, quick feet, that's not its hidden ability, so I'm just going to get rid of that. You're spotted, try moving more slowly. I'm gonna search for a Wurmple now. Come on. Uh, it's only search level two, so it's not. It's going to be rather difficult to find. But anyway, let's head up into Old Dale Town. There's nothing to find. There's no wild Pokemon in this area, so there's no Dex Nav. So let me just swap back to the Area Nav and go and heal up real quick. All right, so we have three Pokemon in our party. Now, I'm not actually using either of these two, so I'm going to deposit them. Actually, we have Professor's PC, but there's no point in checking that right now. It'd just be a waste of time. Now, what do I want to do? I'm going to actually... Right, the special Pokemon I'm going to put on the bottom row of this box, or should I put them in another box? Yeah, I'll put special Pokemon in this box. Oh wow, and it's Jolly. I wonder if it's guaranteed Jolly, because that's actually not a bad ability for it. And then just random Pokemon that I'm catching. We'll just go in this box. Oh wow! It was holding a Petra Bear. I didn't even notice that. Let's take that. None of the other Pokemon are holding an item, right? None, none. Alright, wow, that's useful, because uh, in case you don't know, Petra Berry is the one that cures poison. So that's actually pretty cool to get. Nice, awesome. Thank you, Wurmple, for just randomly having that. And now let's go and try to find a Zigzagoon that I can catch. Now, catching a Pokemon in one area, I'm pretty sure... Awesome, found a Zigzagoon. I'm pretty sure catching a Pokemon in one area counts it as caught for all areas of the Dex Nav. You don't need to catch it individually in each time, which would really be stupid if you did. I think it works just like once you've registered in your Pokedex, which is why I really want to work to actually complete the Dex Nav and not just transfer over my living decks because then I won't be able to even try to complete the deck snap and I'll miss out on a large portion of the game. Plus, as we catch more Pokemon, that'll increase our chances of critical captures. And then we will... Uh, what would, what would be a good way to say? We'll increase our chance of critical captures and that will make it easier to catch more Pokemon, especially the legendaries we need to capture later on. So... Let's not nickname it. 
Now, on the sidebar in the top right, you'll, you can actually, and as you see now, we have a crown. Good job, you've caught them all. So now we can search for any of these Pokemon. Awesome. So, um, as you may see in, well, may see, in the top right corner, I have the map. I guess I should talk about the layout for these videos. The map is centered to show where we currently are in the game. Oh, wow, and this thing has a potion. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep this thing with me just because it has pickup, and I'd like to grab some items with that. So that's actually very helpful. Let's... All right, so I didn't even need to go to the Poké Center. That was dumb. Waste of time. Let's go buy some more Pokéballs. Actually, if I can, I'd like to buy 10 just because I really want to get a Premier Ball because there's something I would like to try to catch with a Premier Ball. Let's see. That c that's going to take, like, all my money, but... You know, the chance of me actually catching this Pokemon with a Premier Ball is pretty low because it's... Well, actually, no, because, I mean, a Pokeball and a Premier Ball are the same. So, you know, I will do it. I want the Premier Ball. Thank you. All right. Hopefully that wasn't a big mistake. Now, let's see. What else? There's... If we grab the Dexnav and head up here... This area is nearly complete. I see only Zigzagoon and Puchiana silhouettes, so what am I missing? Probably something I can't encounter, like something in the water. Right? I, I would assume it's something over here because Route 103 continues over there. So actually, I don't think we'll be able to complete that just yet, so let's head back and let's go talk to the guy who was sketching footprints. I thought I was sketching some rare Pokemon footprints. It turned out they were only turned out they were my own footprints. So we can just walk all over these. And actually you have to exit the screen to reach Route 102. Oh wow, 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 wow. Wait, did I just miss out on those wingles? No no no, I got them. Awesome. So that's cool. So when you what's really cool is when you see Pokemon like run by like that, it actually counts them as encountered. And also, look at all the places Wingle appears in the game, jeez. Just like real life with seagulls. So, it just registers it as seen, which is rather cool, I have to say. That's a, something I really like. If we actually check the Hoenn Pokedex, let's see our seen Pokemon filling in. Yeah, so there it is. Nice. No, I meant to hit X. Dang it. Come on, there we go. Now, I wonder, I wonder if I take that and Dexnav... There's still Pokemon in this area you have not caught. Alright. Let's see, what is that? That's a Zigzagoon. Some Pokemon... Alright, so it has Charm, which is a move it normally doesn't have. I'm pretty sure these are all egg moves, like moves you can get in other ways. I don't think there's any moves exclusive to the... To the, uh... God, what am I trying to say? Exclusive to when you encounter them... In this kind of stuff. Gosh, I am having trouble talking right now. Jeez. In the Dex Nav, when you sneak up on Pokemon, searching for them. Holy crap. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, this was what I was trying to catch. Please don't kill. Oh, gosh. Yes, I wanted to catch a Ralts. Wow, that is very good. I cannot believe I just found this right away. Now, I want to use a Premier Ball just because in its final stage, it is has red and white on it, and I thought a Premier Ball would look really good for that. So hopefully I can catch it with this because Ralts has a pretty high catch rate. So please, please work because I only have one of these. Come on. Yes! Oh, man! Oh, that is awesome! Oh my gosh. And now, I do already have a nickname in mind for this Ralts. Wow, I cannot believe that! That was so great! Oh man! Ralts senses the emotions of people using the horns on its head. The, this Pokémon rarely appears before people, but when it does, it draws closer if it senses that the person has a positive disposition. I like to believe that I have a pretty positive disposition, so that's good for me. And yes, we're going to give this a nickname. Now, in the original games, Gardevoir was pretty good, and Wally used one. Now he uses a Gallade, but Gardevoir 
the one he left behind in the dust to go to Gen 4, he completely missed out on the fact that this is Gen 6. And Gardevoir's got a huge buff in the fact that it's a fairy type now, which means it's a dragon slayer. So we're going to name this, if I can type it correctly, nope, wrong, Beowulf. There we go, because Beowulf was a dragon slayer, kind of. I mean, he slayed a dragon, but like, there's Rolts. Search level 1, I highly doubt I'm going to be able to find one. Yeah, I didn't think so. That is... Oh man, that is awesome. So it, it only seems to fill in with the silhouettes once you've actually seen the Pokemon in your Pokedex. So I'm wondering... That, oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually found a Rolts right away and managed to get it in the Premier Ball. I'm so happy with that. Oh, I never even finished what I was saying about the sidebar. It shows the, the map shows where we currently are. It's basically centered on our current location and it will move as we move in the Let's Play. And on top of it will be the Pokemon that I currently have on my team. And it will, uh, I'll try to include like Pokemon when I catch them. If I like before, until I put them in the PC, but I might forget sometimes. Don't be too sad if I do. And it has Synchronize. Both of its abilities, Trace and Synchronize, are good. Um, actually, how's the nature? Docile, I'm pretty sure, is neutral. Indeed it is. This thing also has a neutral nature. Serious. But look at that. In the, in the Premier Ball. Oh man, that is so cool. It only has Growl, which kind of sucks. Because it can't... Like, uh, it can't attack. And it doesn't learn an, any attacks until level 6. So we're going to have to switch train it for a while, which is okay, because, I mean, uh, Mudkip is rather, well, I'm not going to say high-leveled, but is doing well for itself. It's not like it's under-leveled. So let's actually go out, uh, excuse me, and fight our first Pokemon trainer, which is this youngster. If you have a Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. Wait, you're not going to say anything about locking eyes and having to fight? Youngster Calvin is a Sableye shirt and Zigzagoon. All right, classic youngsters with their Rattatas and Zigzagoons and Bidoofs. Look at that, only Growl. Ridiculous. All right, so we're going to have to switch out to Beefcake. So we now have Beefcake and Beowulf, two Pokemon whose names start with B. Um, I don't think I have plans to have use any other Pokemon that have nicknames that start with B. Yeah, I don't think so. But uh, then again, my team could always change if anyone suggests something that they want me to use. I will consider it, and maybe I'll end up using that and having to nickname it something that starts with B. So, um, I don't think Mudkip will level up from this just because half- Okay, pointless critical, of course. Half the experience is going to go to Ralts. Oh, never mind, still made it. Nice. I wasn't expecting- Oh, but then again, it is a trainer, so we gain 1.5 times experience, and we learned Mud Slap. Awesome! Bale of Crew to level 4. Oh! Oh, oops, I was looking- Jeez, I keep forgetting that the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire level ups are, are um, learn sets are different, and they lowered a lot of the levels like they did in Black and White 2 from Black and White 1. Arg, I lost, I should have trained mine more! Which means we actually lose learn confusion at level 4 instead of 6, that is awesome. I also like to talk to trainers after beating them because they usually say something different. Listen, you, if you're strong, you should have told me from the start. Uh, what is that? That is a C dot, it sounds like. Uh, yeah, indeed it is. And... I want to go to my Pokemon to, like, swap to Mudkip to whittle it down easier. But it's level 5. I don't think Confusion would one-shot it. Alright, so there we go. We have a C dot. Oh, man, look at the Premier Ball. Use, uh, that's so awesome. And we have Confusion at level 4. Great, please do not kill it. I don't think it will. Yeah, okay, yeah. Harden. Haha! -ha! My special attacks laugh at your physical defense. Beat up. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, never mind. We are a fairy type, so we don't take things. Yeah, see, look at that. In this generation, the Gardevoir line, you now lose your weakness to dark. How great is that? And I believe also to bug, because fairy resists bug. So the only psychic weakness it has is ghost, though it does have the two fairy weaknesses. So it still has a total of three weaknesses, but it gains an immunity 
and a couple of resistances to it gains a double resistance of fighting and good we got the c dot and uh it also gains yeah bug fairy and or bug fighting and dark yeah okay so all right uh no i didn't mean yes whatever doesn't matter if you accidentally click yes you can just click enter without typing anything and it won't nickname so let's actually see did that have an item no it did not all right zigzagoon doesn't have an item all we have right now is that petcha berry so it's not really worth attaching now it appears we have a trainer over there and a trainer up there. We will continue heading through this route in the next episode, alright? So in this episode, we caught our awesome Ralts. Let's actually search just to see if there's one nearby. No, I didn't think so. Alright, so in the next episode, we'll continue heading through Route 102 and filling out the Dex Nav. Alright, see you guys next time.